<laughs> it's all them people trying to get on it. Ah. Hello, hello everybody. It's Bill here from Elite Publishing Academy and with my good friend and top author, Mr. Dominic Hodgson. Hello, Dom. Hello, Bill. Thanks for having me on, Chief. No problem. So this is a new, a new version of uh, Author TV in, uh, in the times that we are in now. Um, and I thought, what better guest to get on the first new and improved Author TV than an actual Amazon number one best-selling author? <laughs> but you but you have to settle for me in the end <laughs> <laughs> so um so yeah as, uh, I, I thought the reason i've done this today for there's so many different subjects around uh, publishing and writing and how to sell your goddamn books that uh, i thought well the best one really to speak about because the main question that i get asked on uh when people are coming to me basically to publish their books and then market their books um, which is a different ball game i know um is how do i sell my books on amazon um, so today, for everybody that's going to join us and uh, and come in, there is a chat box, people, on the right-hand side. Um, so if you want to throw a question at Dom and I, um, we will be going through them at any any time and just have a look at them. Um, so if you want to just ask us questions, we will kind of have a look and and see if we can answer it. I think we could, knowing our, our years of experience in the game. Um, but if we can't, then we'll, 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 uh, we'll ask a question later. So feel free, please, on the right-hand side, if you want to ask a question, ask a question away. So let's get started um, and uh, and go into this. It's how to be an Amazon number one best-selling author. And uh, Dom, you're the best man for that. Before we kind of delve deep into that, just give everybody a little, um, if people haven't seen Dom before, which I'm surprised at, because I think this is your fourth time now, Dom, on my on, 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 on author TV. But just give everyone a little bit of a brief about you um, and, uh, and how you got to writing books, basically. Yeah, cool. So um, about 11 years ago, uh, no, about 10 years ago, I started my first business. Um, I'd been a sales rep previous to that. And then I started a business as a running a dog adventure and training company in Sunland and where I live in the northeast. That's why I sound like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I started the business and the business grew and it was fairly successful. And I took on a staff member and then um I ran out of hours in the day, really, but I wanted to do more stuff. So I, I launched an online store, which was a complete and utter disaster. <laughs> and that kind of taught me that I needed to learn about marketing. You know how marketing was really important because I'd outsourced a lot of stuff and trusted a lot of people and wasted a lot of money. Um, but obviously nobody to blame but myself. You know, I'm, I'm the guy in charge. So so a big learning curve that and that kind of really when I started to get into mar really learning about marketing and uh, investing in my marketing education that was a little bit further down the line from that was where I, I learned about you know if you want to be seen as the uh, premier elite um, dog walker dog trainer um, solicitor you know hairdresser um, whatever it is really that you want it, if you want to be seen as uh, the number one in your town um, when you're you know one of the top people in your industry yeah. uh, one of the ways to do that is to write a book yeah and so that was what i did that was what i did uh, with your help back in 2015 now that was the first mm. book how to be a dog superhero really and that um really did kind of put me on the map um it within my industry you know within my mm. within the dog within the dog industry and the pet amongst all the pet professionals because i remember when we done that i say we as i, as I had a massive input in that but as in when we when we done that book um because it was so well written as in the content wise and the way that you marketed it was was so different within your area if you, if you like your niche that that's why you're always a spokesperson for me you know in many ways because um you know the way that you did market how to be a dog superhero and we'll, and we'll show everybody like the the books that you've done on amazon in a bit but obviously it's a massive learning curve in a writing the book in the first place because i mean you're, you're quite good at writing content anyway but i mean even back then now i am yeah now i am yeah but it was quite um, tricky at the start, wasn't it? It's like everybody, you know. Absolutely, yeah. I think mainly it's 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 up here really as well with, you know, you feeling, am I worthy of writing a book, you know? Am I, uh, you know, is it, um, am I good enough? You know, yeah. am I, do I know enough? All, all these kind of things. And um, mm -hmm. you're right what you said before. I, I Really, to go back a little bit of a step, really, what I did before I, I wrote the book was I, I started to build an email list, you know? Yeah. I started to... Um, create content like you said i started to create some um products you know some online sort of digital dog training products and stuff and 
and that, that was sort of got to the point where I I had enough, I had lots of content anyway, and I had a tribe, an email list. And so the book was the next thing that I thought about, well, I'll, I'll do this. And then I've got a, a bunch of um, people to, to buy the who are going to buy the book already. And, and that's really what happened. You know, I mean, I remember pre-ordering, um, I think I pre-ordered about a thousand copies, I think from you. Yeah. And I pre-sold 250 to my list. Yeah. Um, before I'd before I'd even push the button, on, you know, on before you'd even push the button on the, uh, the press, you know, and uh, and that kind of paid for the, the printing and you know yeah. most of the stuff that Julia did for the cover and all that kind of thing as well. So yeah. I, I did it in a kind of a bit of a slower uh, way, maybe than than maybe a lot of other people want to do it, but it you know it was uh, it worked for me anyway. Yeah, it is, and I think a lot of people again when I when I help people with you know the print, the publishing, the marketing of their books, it's always a, a way of of saying to people that have a not even a ninety day, maybe a hundred and eighty day plan out there where if you like you say if you want to order X amount of copies, printed copies, or kin, you know you'll do the Kindle version. We'll talk about that in a minute, but um, it's always best to to start straight away unless you unless you're privileged with a huge list of potential clients, then it's be really hard to kind of stick. Your, but most people would come in and they, they'll whack their book on Facebook the day it's ready to go or Amazon advertising, whatever, and expect sales to come instantly in. Mm. Um, and to to try and describe to people that that's not, yeah, if you're lucky, brilliant. Um, mm. but the, the way to success really is to build slowly um, and, like you say, get your money back and more to start. If you can put the, say it costs you a £1,000, just for example, I always say this, you've got to sell roughly, you know, as in cost thousand quid, you want to sell hundred books at a tenner, just doing simple maths here. Mm -hmm. so I'll you, do you think you can sell a hundred books or 250 books at that, that price to start with? And that's always a starting point. I'm not even talking thousands or hundreds of thousands, because I think the first thing that uh, authors need to kind of really know is that a book, a product that it is, needs to get your return of investment back straight away. If you're doing it for what we do and you do, for example, mm -hmm. you know, if you're, if you're looking to publish your book and get it out there to sell, then I think you need to really have a, a plan in place to start with. And it, look, it differs, doesn't it? Like your, your plan might slightly differ from day to day or week to week, but you, you knew, like you said, you wanted to order a thousand copies, you pre-sold 250, which paid for everything anyway, so you weren't out of pocket. Hmm. Um, and anything else on top was a, a, the cherry on top, as it were. So hmm. I, think, um, I think by the same token, Bill, I think if um, that, what I did was just one way of doing it where I was at that time. I think what you just said, you know, thinking of it as an investment of, say, a thousand pounds or something. Mm -hmm. Well, people can easily burn through a thousand pounds, you know, with Google ads or Facebook mm -hmm. or, you know, outsourcing to some marketing. And at the end of it, but I think that was my, my experience. I'm not yeah. saying I've, I've had good experiences with yeah. uh, people who sell marketing as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the time for that, it was like I invested all this money in supposedly their expertise and them you know handling paper click for me and stuff like that and i had nothing to show for it do you know what i mean i had nothing that they weren't helping me to build a list or build a client base or anything they weren't helping me to do that whereas if you if you if you spend a thousand pound on a book or or, if, or a bit more or a bit less or whatever like it, even if you'd never sell a copy <laughs> well not yeah. you know you will but it, it, you've still you've got a book you know and and the book itself Obviously, it opens so many other doors for you, doesn't it? You know, because oh yeah, and, and it is the right, think, right way, which is obviously the way that you yeah. you're able to do isn't it. Yeah, and it's always down to the quality of content and, and the way it's delivered in the product, anyway. I think anyway, and I think your your books, which we we jump onto a minute, as what clearly does that. You don't become you don't become an Amazon number one bestseller for nothing. Um, <laughs> but it's it's true. I think the actual product has always got to be good, and the, and the quality and the delivery has got to be good as well. And I think most people that be watching this either live or on, on a recording or whatever, um, we'll want to know really how and why, uh, not why, is I've already answered the why, because it's a good book, but how um, how how you become an Amazon number one bestseller. So I'm, what I'm going to do now, people, I'm just going to jump to Dom, tell me if it's not going to flick over. We're just going to jump over to Amazon now. Um, can you see that okay? I can't see anything at the moment. Okay. Oh, I know why. Thomas shared my screen. <laughs> it is live. <laughs> Here we go. Right. So you're going to see lots of us in the background there. Right. Can you see that now, Don? Yeah, sure. 
<laughs> second time lucky so um just literally today um we're not going to go through uh, like everything in, in there i just wanted to show you that obviously dom is a bona fide amazon uh, author um and this is by the way people if, uh, at the time of recording we are still in self-isolation so hopefully if you're watching this in june or july we're not yes. um, but this is dom's new guide the dog's own self-isolation survival guide discover how to quickly and easily exercise entertain and emotionally connect with your dog from the seclusion of your sitting room very good um and there's paperback and the kindle edition there as well and this is the uh, the original book that we spoke about um yep. I'm one. so uh and you can see here dom's a prolif prolific author and an audio books as well which if that's okay Dom, we will have a quick chat about that as yeah, well sure. um but as you can see over the last uh well it's been five years now realistically since we launched the first the four, first book sorry uh dom's kind of written a guide or a book every year he's been very prolific in it because a it works for him um i was going to jump over to your author page very quickly dom just to uh -huh. show the wrong page um just to kind of show uh, again so if you could just kind of again now if we're we're on Amazon because obviously I think that is important. Um, that's a headline of, of the show today, obviously, is how to be an Amazon number one bestseller. Um, tell me how, just walk us through the process of, of, of how it happened for you. Um, as I said, just to kind of caveat everyone, the book was, was really good. So that's the first thing. But just, just walk everybody through now how and what you've done or whatever, you know, if there was any kind of tips and tricks you can give, not tricks, tips out there for people. That kind of say, look, you know what? My advice would be to, to do this on Amazon if, if you can. Yeah, sure. So, um, like like we said a little bit before, the the, the main thing is that you write a, a good book, you know, that is going to connect with your 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 ideal client, you know, connect with your the audience that you're wanting to build. You know, it's got to do a job. Yeah. I mean, the Amazon stuff and the Amazon bestseller, it's a nice thing to talk about, and I do talk about it a lot. <laughs> but, yeah. It's, it, it, you know what I mean? It's no, it would be no good being an Amazon number one bestseller and then having a book that wasn't doing anything to help you to grow your business. What's the yeah. thing at the same time? Yeah. So, um, so, so yeah. So, like I said, really for me, I think the whole thing came down to the list, you know, and having this, um, having a list of people who bought the book and then also um, uh, like reviewed it for me. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Uh, that that book more than any other. I mean, it, it, yeah, it's the one that I've had out since the longest. It's been out nearly six years now, but it, it's got like 175 reviews or something, you know. And uh, um, ask, keep sharing my screen, Tom. Yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. Yeah. yeah. Can you see that? Okay. Yes, yeah, spot on. Yeah. So that's the yeah. one. Yeah. And so, oh, tell me about the. So, is the reviews part of the uh, the strategy then? Well, for me, it was very much so, yeah, because you want to, you know, you want to, you want to get people who are buying the book. If someone's buying the book, even if they're buying the book from you, you yes. know, part of the, part of the sort of follow up with them is, is you know, hey, did you know, did did you buy the book? Did you enjoy it? What did you learn from it? You know, please go and share what you learned from the book on Amazon. You know, and yeah. that's a big part of. Um, for me, it is anyway. For me, it's because you know you want it. You want it. You want more people to buy it. You want more people to review it. Yeah. Um, and, and and it's difficult. I mean, I do get people reaching out to me, so I will get um, random people sort of reaching out to me and saying, uh, you know, hey, I bought your book. It was really useful. Um, you know, I really enjoyed it. Or dog trainers as well doing that. You know, and I'll ask them to write a review. But it's obviously much easier to build up excitement with your email list or with your current group of clients, you know, and people who are maybe on the outskirts, get them all kind of revved up for it so that everybody knows that they've, everyone's got a part to play when this book comes out, you know? Like yeah. if, you're, if you're a fan of me or if you're a fan of what I teach you or, or help you with, then, you know, the way to repay me is to go is to go and leave a review. Absolutely. And I think, uh, well, you, know, you can see there, people, the, the, the five-star reviews as well. Again, it goes back to the content, but that's, that's quite an interesting... Uh, tactic there as well you know that's something that we do tell people before it's like everything is when we when you normally do a, even it's a, a printed version or a paperback version, which a ebook version rather or anything like that is to get as many reviews that you can possible because obviously it's social proof for a start it's not just you it's like it's not just you saying how great your book is it's other people telling you and that, that i think that's kind of the the crux of of, of the special on amazon it's like again it's, it's it's that kind of rubber stamping isn't it of yeah this is really good this is a really good product yeah, 
Yeah. And I think being um, something as well is, is what we people need to remember is you, you want to be kind of looking to be make yourself look like a big fish in a, in a smaller pond as possible, you know. So whilst I've, I can claim to be an Amazon bestseller and I am an Amazon bestseller and as certainly how to be a dog superhero has been Amazon bestseller, you know, two or three times, maybe four or five times. But that is within obviously the dog training category. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So. But just to stop you there, just to stop you there, I mean, don't belittle that at all because I think that's no, 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 no. I just very meant... important for people to understand is you don't have to have a huge name about yourself. Again, it's everything that I try and help people with, as you know, and preach to people is be the expert within your field. Simple as that, whatever that field is. And it's not because I use you because you're a dog walker, so I'm not, not diminishing that. I'm just saying, look, you know, Dom's obviously built really good businesses and he's, you know, he, he, he grows other people's businesses. Um, from knowing his niche, from knowing the expertise within your marketplace. So it's not always the solicitors and the lawyers that we work with, far from it. It's more people that really understand their niche, um, who to target, how to help people is a key thing. Your books help people, mm. which then turn on to other things for you, don't they? And that, that's yeah. what I always try and tell people is once the book is still a real powerful product, a real powerful tool for anybody to kind of get to know, like, trust you, the old classic know, like, trust method, but it, it is so true. And I will say, like, you can look at the big guns out there that, um, you know, why do they write books all the time still? Mm. You know, if, if it was it was such an old fashioned thing, then, you know, you've got to look at the top, top people. Why do they why do they still do it? Because they know that of this method that if, if you can get it out there and also ebook, which we we'll speak about in a second, Dom, and audio book as well. Um, because it's a case of obviously they're the next steps, aren't they? So, again, I'm just going to switch back to. Uh, yeah, just, to, just to back up what you were saying there then while you're switching over yeah so it's if you think about it it, it that makes the job easier you know what we're saying about if, if you've got a niche yeah you know, it's obviously way easier for you to be disruptive and to have a um a, like a contrary opinion that you're um verbalizing in your book compared yeah. to what everybody else is saying in your industry it's much easier to do that and become you know well known and become a become a number one bestseller within a quite a tight niche, you know, uh, yeah. rather than thinking you've got to be competing with like Lee Child and JK Rowling and oh. you know, like you, that's not necessary. You know, we're just talking about um, being in a, in a, in a quite a small niche. Absolutely. And that, that's the key thing. If most people understand that, and I, and I think they do people who anyway, subscribe to what, what I do, they, they, they listen. Well, I say they listen, they might listen to what I say and write and everything to kind of say, look, just be the best in what, who you are. And that will project, project outwards anyway, because I think everybody that does or has written books and guides the right way, including yourself and lots of others, can see the benefit of it all. Just looking at it here, Dom, again, I think people will be interested on the on the Amazon approach today. The um, You've got a limited deal uh, here for this particular. Yeah. Is that is it any reason? Is it, or do, you, do you swap this over every week or that's, two? That's actually something that I'm just trialing. Um, Amazon approached me. Um, you know, uh, to say we would we would like to include your um, this particular book in our um, promotions for March. I think or March, March, April, yeah. um, and so I, I've sort of enrolled it into a, like an Amazon promotion. Um, so it, it's just a, obviously they they are the, the, so the the book is normally I think it's two ninety nine for the Kindle version. It's discounted yeah. ninety nine pence at the moment. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just something that I'm trialing really, to be honest with you. Just, you know, so I mean, the sales have gone up. I make a bit less, obviously, because the book is less, but it's, um, I'm always thinking kind of long game with it anyway, you know, so it was, just, it was just a trial, really. Absolutely. And I think that's a key thing. And this is, again, this is why you're such a good subject matter for me. Um, it's because Don will obviously, that there's, we have the new ones back on there. So we've done six, six guides now, I think. Yeah, six now, yeah. Yeah. So obviously each one will sell, obviously, and they're very, if you can see here, people, they're very specific as well. Um, the Perfect Puppy Project, Walk Yourself Wealthy, uh, which is, a, and uh, the Ultimate Pet Business Plan are more business-minded books in, in, in many ways, aren't they, Dom, on yeah. how people can can obviously grow their, their, their pet walking businesses, but also their pet businesses as well. I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but again, look at what Dom's done. Look at the, the cover designs that have worked pretty well for you as well, haven't they? And, and that kind of speaks volumes um, and worry-free walk. So again, Dom will write about things that are, that he knows about, obviously. And uh, some of these guides are very small as well. It doesn't have to be like this, you know, 300 page 
document either, Dom, does it? It's, it's these kind Definitely of, you know. Not. My, the, 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 long, the longest book is the first one, How to Be a Dog Superhero. I think that's about 226 pages or 230 yeah. pages, something like that. But um, I think Worry Free Walks is just over 100 pages. Um, Ultimate Pet Business Plan is about 100. What Yourself Wealthy is about 80, 85 pages. Um, and then Perfect Puppy is about 160, something like that. And then the new one is um, 100 pages. In interestingly, a bit of um, inside information for you. The, the new book, which you'll have to probably go back to. Can you yeah. see that? Yep. Actually, yeah. I can it up here now. People might be able to see that better that way. Yeah. There we go. Um, the new one is, I've, I've, is kind of a, a mashup of a lot of the other content that I put in the other books. So I've done that because my the training style that I recommend in my books is very much about you having a, a great relationship with your dog. And um, it, it's obviously easy. If your, dog is, if your dog is always running off in the park to chase um, rabbits and squirrels and other dogs, or, you know, he, he's, the best way to, the best place to start your training with him is actually at home. Um, so you start in the sitting room or you do it in your garden, you build up a relationship with them there away from all the distractions. So this whole self-isolation thing, yeah. it, kind of split, it just it, yeah, it really did. It kind of fitted in really well. And I thought, you know what? Like I've got so much stuff here that people will find useful um, to help them at this time of, you know, lockdown. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, it was it was it was a, it was a no brainer to me, you know. And that's the thing. I think um, you know. I think the, the the idea being behind it is is exactly that: is use the content that you've already got um, and redistribute it. Okay, re-edit it. See what's useful now. Useful maybe in six months' time. There's stuff that that we've done. Uh, Nick, who does a lot of my kind of uh, content as well, the stuff that I kind of you know I speak a lot, as everyone knows, and I get you know, I get other people to to do the actual verbal work for me, or the written work. Sorry, not the verbal work. Um, then it's it, it's it's a lot easier. So you know, don't worry about your content that you've got there. We've got a question from Louise here, um, yeah. who's basically put on there. Uh, Hi, Bill and Dom. Louise here from Amber Couch. I know uh, of you both via Vicky. Yes, very Vicky, superb, good. My question is to Dom. You did uh, Vicky's write a book course. Do you still use that as a basis for your books, or have you written so many now that you've developed your own system? Now, this is quite interesting, actually, yeah. Yeah, good one, yeah. I think I think I probably have developed my own system now, although a lot of it is based upon the principles that I learned from, from Vicky, to be truthful. Um, yeah. She's so kind of – well, we all are, aren't we? We're all so kind of aligned um, from a business and marketing point of view um, that we – yeah, it, it, it was very easy for me to plug Vicky's system into what I was doing. And it was like the perfect, it was the perfect thing that got me going. And and like just to go back to what we said before about when I was <laughs> I was messing about trying to write my first book for a long time. And then I thought to myself, Do you know what? I'm just gonna pay a bill for the for the pre pre-order the copies now, and that'll be the thing that'll get me over the over the line. <laughs> um and then it, it still wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I, but then I had a thousand, and then I had a thousand books and no book. So I, so I ended up um, investing in Vicky's course, and I know you're a big fan of hers as well, Bill. Yeah. And uh, that helped me get going um, massively with that. But yes, sort of to qualify that as well. Definitely, you kind of develop your own style, and 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 it it is way easier now. It's still not easy. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to sound like it's. Uh, you know, it's like I just oh, you just do it. Like you know, you still it's still work you still have to sit down and do it and you have to collect ideas before you before you sit down to work you know but and um, because i'm writing so much anyway and i'm yeah. doing newsletters every month for my tribe or i'm writing emails doing podcasts it's kind of easier for me to take all of the best ideas that i have put them into little categories and then they become like the fodder for the ideas for the books you know do you um literally do you still do it on pad and paper a little bit and then transcribe it or how, how what's your style do you physically obviously type not write anymore but do you kind of put your ideas down in like a in a log book or a i mean my log books are all in my office normally but um i've got down a pad, pad and paper at the minute but um yeah mainly, mainly i start off definitely start off like that with pen and paper or yeah. well to be honest with you anyway pen, i do like pen and paper um but i'll also i'll just like collect screen grabs you know from articles I, that i'll see um pictures Anything even if I'm out and about, you know, if I'm in a library or something or I, I see a cover that I like, you know, something that gives me an idea. Um, 
a bit like I feel like the, I'm like the BFG. You know when the BFG's out and he's looking for like dreams. You know he's collecting yeah. dreams in his little jars. I'm just like collecting ideas all the time. Well, and uh, like pinboard approach in a way, I suppose that kind of a digital pinboard really more days. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm the same. I'm I'm the, collect a bunch of ideas, and then um, and then obviously if I've got the, it's just about chunking things up. Really. I was talking to somebody about this yesterday. One of my a girl in my tribe who was writing her first book and it and just kind of you have your big idea you know and then you just kind of chunk it up into the key topics you know so if you take like the perfect puppy project as an example there's like maybe seven or eight things maybe 10 things at the max that i want to i want people to know about when they finish reading that book so there's my seven or eight or ten chapters, you know, and then we're chunking it up into little sections after that. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like looking for stories. So if I'm doing a, a section about um, like socializing a puppy or something, yeah. then I, I want I want some kind of story that's going to hook people in at the start of the chapter. You know, yeah. and once I've got all those pieces, really it's I just I just it's just about sitting down and doing it, you know, and doing, doing it. Doing the work, isn't it? I've just shared on on the screen there, people, um, the twenty seven top tips that we give for pub. Not about writing, because I, I always say I am not a writing expert, people. But there's ways if you're like me, that's in the twenty seven top tips of how to write a book, shall we say, which is uh, very much what I do. Write it down, put it onto a PowerPoint, then I speak it. Basically, that's what I do with all of my stuff. Then I get really good people who can write, unlike me. To do <laughs> The, uh, kind of, yeah, make it into a, a form, but still sound like me because I, that's what I always want to project is if people come and want and work with us, whatever they feel like they know, kind of know me already a little bit. And again, it's that no like trust method that I always preach bang on about. So okay. if we just go, I'm just going to nip into one of our kind of dummy ish Kindle accounts, uh, quite a few. Um, we're not going to go too heavy into it. We just want to show people if you haven't used the Amazon Kindle direct publishing account at the moment. Um, where Don was saying earlier, you can say this is this is a, a book of mine that um, I say book. It's a guide that I done years ago now, um, and it's still one of my top lead generating um, systems. Can't see anything, Bill. I don't know if it's supposed oh, to be. A I'll tell you what, mate. I'm gonna share the screen again. What is wrong with me? Here we go. <laughs> Classic, isn't it? Um, so this is um, a book that I kind of yeah years ago, about ten years ago now. I I, I kind of done this one, and this was still one of my best um lead generation tools basically um for for what i do you know one of, it's a little guide nothing fancy we sell it for 99p on amazon or it's free from uh, from our landing pages but what don was saying earlier and i could be wrong don but to step in is once you set up your kdp account this is one of our dummy ones um you can do all sorts in here and we will do another training session at another point um uh, at some point over the next you know couple of weeks or so because i think people want to know more and more and really kind of delve deep i know there's lots of other videos and stuff out there but hopefully we can help and guide you through but if you, dom i mean correct me if i'm wrong you can see this there's lots of uh, your screen might be different when you go into your amazon account but again you, you can create a, a kindle countdown deal you can uh, i always say you know run an advertising campaign i don't know if you do much of the ad, ad campaigns on there dom but um, I haven't as much just because, but that, to be honest with you, I know that, um, I know that if I wanted to sell a lot more book, books, then I would need to, uh, get, you know, uh, master the advertising a bit more. I'm sending a little bit of Facebook traffic to Amazon for the new book, but again, not very much. Um, but yes, I, I agree. Yeah, you definitely, if, if you can afford, I mean, you can tell if you're going to Amazon from a, from a, um, a consumer point of view, you know, yeah. you can see like, how how much more prominence the sponsored products get, you know, and yes. uh, and, and you know you can for a lot of people I think they can you know if, if you can get a um, obviously it's going to help you to it's going to help you to sell more books just to get up the rankings and stuff and that might be worthwhile for you as well, um, but it's also you know if your if your book is specialised enough and it's going to help people in your niche enough then it might be well worth you putting like you say some money or even a lot of money behind it to. Yeah. Uh, because the return you're going to get on it potentially, not just from the sale of the ebook or the paperback book, no, no, from, you get from it, yeah. and then whatever you're going to sell them after that, it is potentially yeah. massive, isn't it? So I mean, I, I'm just going to do it here live as well. So I'm just going to do a little, uh, little five-day deal on the old self-publisher to prove how easy it is once you're doing it. 
Um, and yeah, I mean, that's not to, to get anything back from it at all. But I think it's key, what you said there, Dom, as well, is that I think a lot of people miss, everyone always talks to me about advertising on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and, and all that. And I say, yeah, absolutely. But what's well, the biggest bookstore really in the world is, 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 is Amazon. When we, over the last probably 12, 18 months, maybe two years, no, not maybe as long as 18 months especially, the trials we've done on Amazon advertising um, with our, our top clients' books who, who sell a lot, um, obviously, clearly, sell a lot more via that uh, Amazon advertising, like you say, because I think we are all obsessed with Facebook and Insta and Twitter and, and, and absolutely should be as well. Uh, you're going to find the platform that suits, but so many people, I think, miss the trick of actually advertising on Amazon oh. um, because it's, it's, it's very inexpensive cost per click. Um, and again, it's like everything. It's the same. It's the same tactic on Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever you do in Facebook. is target marketing, and if, as long as you're doing that right, then uh, you should do it. Also, you've got to think. Like Amazon's the biggest bookstore, mm. so really. Yeah. Um, so if I was you, I, I'd always, you know, we we help people with that as well. But I'd always test a little hundred quid maybe on uh, on on trying ads on Amazon because uh, I think you can get a good return of investment. What we've tried over the last eighteen months, especially. Um, and look, some of our clients do have very deep pockets. I'm not going to say, you know, 100 quid, you're going to get, you know, a thousand pound back. I'm not saying that at all. But um, the trials that we've done for, for, for some of the people, they have spent a good few thousand pounds, people, so I'm not going to deny. Um, but they've got, they have got tenfold back. So it's a, it's a really good source of it. But I think if you're willing to invest in the book, which you should be and willing to invest in the project, then definitely, um, definitely advertise on Amazon. Definitely. It's, it's the it's like the perfect. I know you you have mentioned this many times before, but the book is like a perfect gateway for somebody new to come into your business. You know, yeah. fantastic way for them to arrive in your world because as they could become aware of you, to become aware that you're an author at the same time is is massive. You know, like you said, it's, it's bigger than anything, really. You know, um, I just, you know, nothing really holds that kind of weight. Um, so just a little example for you. I'm running a um, I'm running a uh, challenge next week for top business owners um, to help them through this uh, like a lockdown survival thing, you know, because a lot of pet business owners are struggling, as everybody is. I know everybody is. So yeah. I, I've done a couple of um, webinars and um, sold some stuff. Anyway, next I'm trialing a challenge. Next week I'm doing a challenge, a 14 day challenge, and people can people. There's like a landing page where people sign up for the challenge, and then the thank you page for the uh, challenge is like a little bundle I put together, you know, so they get um, access to a couple of seminars I've done in the past and a book, you know, and it's that's, that's really good. Yeah, and it, um, it's working really well to be honest with you. You know, they, is that they live, is that live now. Or? Yeah, that's live now. Yeah, yeah. Can I show people? Do you mind or not? Yeah, I don't mind. No, not at all. No. I will share my screen. Let me just type it up. <laughs> so, what's it called? It's uh, if you go to growyourpetbusinessfast.com, you haven't shared the screen yet, Bill. I must oh, say. no, I'm, I'm trying to get it up first. <laughs> <laughs> growyourpetbusinessfast.com forward slash lockdown challenge. Lockdown, just so I can show you people. And then I promise people, I'm pretty, I'm normally pretty good with the uh, technology, honest. <laughs> right, here we go. I'm gonna sh I will share my screen now, peeps. Ready? And there we go. So, this is Dom. So is that what Dom's saying? So Dom, yeah, you talk your way through it, and then um, I'll just I'll be your. Uh... Yeah. So I'm. I'm. Uh, I, I should just stress as well that part of obviously I'm a dog trainer. Uh, I've run an adventure business, but for the last maybe three or four years, the main part of my business has been helping other pet business owners with their marketing. Um, so that's where the Walk Yourself Wealthy and the Ultimate Pet Business Plan books came about because they helped to establish me as an authority, marketing figure amongst the community that I want to. You know. Boom! Exactly, yeah. exactly, and that's that's again whatever uh, stage you're at. Just remember what Dom said there. He started off with that first book. Yes, it was a success, but it's led on with his mindset as well, and his his ability and his ambition as well to do this other stuff as well. So a book, as I always say, I normally say, book is just the start of it because it is really Dom, isn't it? It's sure. just the start of it. So carry on. Yep. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So um, so, so this is so this is. Well, now, especially with me at the moment, like like many, so I have a walking and boarding side of my business, which is completely shut down. Um, oh, so Jane's lost the sound. Um, I can still hear. Oh. Anybody else lost it? Oh. You still there, Louise? You got it? 
Anyone there? If you look out for that, Dom, and I'll keep sharing the screen, yeah? Yeah, so sure. Yeah. I, I can hear it anyway, so. Yeah, me too, yeah. It must be recording. Maybe yeah. it's a tune, Jean. <laughs> but then she won't be able to hear us anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> hopefully she can. Hopefully you can. Um, ah, excellent. Louise can hear. Brilliant. Um, yeah, so um, so the, the, the walk-in and the, the board inside of my business because of the self-isolation, the coronavirus, it's that just completely shut down, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm obviously, there's not much I can do with that at the moment, apart from keeping in touch with my clients. Um, and that's what I'm recommending my guys do as well, is keep in touch with their clients, keep the communication going. Um, and yeah, so I'm setting up a, a challenge uh, that helps them, that's going to help them to get their business through the through the lockdown, basically, you know? So we're starting that on Monday. Um, that's the sort of sales page, if you like, for the challenge. Yeah. Um, so you can scroll down now. If you put your email in, Bill, as well, obviously after we've finished, it'll take you to the thank you page, which is the one I was talking about. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's cool. So I just submitted that. So here we go, people. This is exactly what you should be doing. So, yeah, so this just says, hey, thanks for signing up for a pet business lockdown survival challenge. Um, before you go to help you um, get up to speed before we start the challenge next week, um, I've got a little bundle for you here. So, um, they get uh, what? What are, what are the bonuses there, Bill? There's like three different things, isn't there? It's like a yeah, seven. The, the assigned paper copy of the ultimate business, pet business plan. That's a value of nineteen ninety seven. The second one is a complete grow your pet business fast seminar recorded live, uh, and that's one hundred and forty seven quid. And then you got the third one is how to fix your pet business website audio training, um, a sixty minute audio training, which is ninety seven. Uh, so the total value of that was two six three. But you're doing an offer. Uh, for just ooh, wow, for just seventeen pounds. So yeah. yeah, perfect. So I'm just doing a, that's just like a little offer, um, and that's the, the 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 offer. So the offer. I mean, I've, the the seminars that I'm giving away, they're quite old. I've had them a while, um, but they're really they're still incredibly valuable. You know, the content, yeah, the content is key, and I think what we were saying earlier, Dom, as well, is um, the content that you done in the past doesn't mean it's done in the it is in the past because it's still some of it is still relevant now and that, yeah. that's what I keep saying to people correct if you're constantly creating content um then it will be reused at some point i guarantee it which you then can sell on to you know something Absolutely, yeah a huge part of what we do is about recycling the content so that so that's what i've done here so that the the, the seminar that i'm giving away is like a, it's a three-hour seminar grow your pet business fast seminar yeah that the seminar on its own has changed people's businesses massively you know so i know this is a, these aren't like fake um uh, values that I'm putting on. So these are genuinely what I've chosen before in the past, you know. But um, yeah, so the book, so the hard cost for me is like, uh, say, two and a half quid for the paperback copy of the book. Yeah. Uh, postage and packaging, maybe it's about a five at tops, is it going to be? Um, let's say it's seven quid even, you know. So I'm clearing £10 per sale from that, which that, that breaks me even on my ad spend, you yeah. know. So yeah. I'm essentially. I'm essentially filling up a webinar. Um, I'm filling up. I'm filling up a challenge. Sorry, and then the webinar for free. <laughs> you know, yeah. which yeah. I, to, to me, I mean, I've been doing this for like you know half a dozen years. That, that's like the best you can get up for, really. <laughs> you know? And I think that, that to, to take from it today is obviously. Um, I'll just quickly ask, answer Jane's question. In yeah, fact, sure. so Jane, basically, everyone has asked um, about distribution within Canada and America. Um, digital printing and uh, the size and everything. Jane, I can help you out of that. Um, I'll email you afterwards. So we, we've got links distributed in, in uh, North America and everything as well. And remember, you can do that on Kindle as well, um, which I will show you as well. So um, don't worry about that. That's that's uh, easily done, shall we say. Um, so I, yeah, I'll get in contact with you after that. But you can do that, by the way, people. You can, again, in the KDP account, I'll share my screen again now, hold on. Um, in the KDP account, um, you can actually do it in here as well from your bookshelf. So um, again, I'll pro probably do another another session on the actual Amazon setup. I think a lot of people don't really know how to use it, I don't think. Um, so that, that's fine. So um, so sorry, Dom, yeah, no, we were saying, like, I think the, yeah, reusable content, and, and then you can kind of repurpose it and then sell it on. Yeah, and, and that, that um, to that offer as well, the offer that I'm running there, because I'm, because I'm sending people a book, yeah, obviously I'm not just sending them a book, I'm, I'm sending them a newsletter, they might get a, a CD from me as well, do you know, I'm, and, and then I've got their address as well, so I'll be able to follow up with them, as you know, so it's, uh, 
it, it it also lets me know that there's a little offer like that lets me know that there's people are people are interested you know so <laughs> it's a good little indicator that um people are hot you know pretty hot for what you're offering yeah, no, absolutely, and and I hope people from from today's uh, webinar uh, will, will will understand that a it's not an easy ride to be an Amazon number one bestseller. Um, b you have to put a lot of work and effort into it, but but basically c is very very. I was about to say number three, then did you notice? And c um, is extremely uh, rewarding once you do it because I think with Dom. Had it not been a, a, gr a great success, you probably would have, because just I know you, but a lot of people will give up after the first one because it wasn't whatever they thought it was. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not, not be funny, probably nine out of 10 people do. And that frustrates you because what you, it's like everything, you need to understand the art and the craft of what you're trying to do, especially with, especially with Amazon. It's really hard, really hard. I, I'm not an Amazon number one bestseller. So it's not like, you know, so I, I can't sit here myself. That's why I like getting people like yourself on here that, that, that actually are because, um, yes, it is a niche marketplace. Yes, it is all that stuff. But then again, there's lots of people. Right, there is loads of people writing similar books to you, Dom, in 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 many aspects. So I would never belittle it um, at all because I think it's a real testament that to prove uh, everything that we say, I say anyway, is is a case of be the expert within your field, and that's what you are. That's who you are. You're the expert within your field, and and by by. By doing that, the Amazon number one bestseller is a really good marketing um, handle, isn't it? It's a, it's a really good rubber stamp, no matter what, because it does give you that authority uh, and everything. Um, so if you can, um, and so I think we'll have to have another one at some other point as well, but could you, it does, I'm not going to say you have to give me specific, but what, so people watching this either now live or watching it uh, in the near future, um, what kind of two or three top tips would you say to kind of if they wanted to be an Amazon number one top twenty? Say I'm not going to say bestseller. Um, then uh, then let me know how would how, how would you help people? With hey that? hey Bill, Chuck, look at the comments. I'm not the only one who's an Amazon bestseller here. Hold oh, on, Jane. <laughs> wow, well done, Jane. Excellent. We are, like, it's like the same with you, like Jane, for a short while. Jane, you're an Amazon number one bestseller. Yeah. Hey, brilliant. Yeah, well, but like you said, it's a, it's a good handle, you know. It's a good, um, it's a good, it, it's a good thing to have on your CV. It's, you know, it's a good thing. Well, it's a good thing to tell people about, you know. Um, and, and, you know, it's, it's something that I add on to my, my bio or whatever all the time, you know, because, you um, People, people recognize it as being, you know, something worthwhile. So, yeah, so it, if you can, it is worth doing. I think, like what we said before, you really want to build a book, write a book first that's going to, you know, really establish you as a as a, a one-off, as a bit of a maverick, do you know what I mean, as a like an expert yeah. in your in your niche, you know. Yeah. You want to be different. You want to try and be a little bit different all the time or a lot different even, you know, and it's just no, it's no good, um, it's no good writing, the same old book that's been written the same old way by you know whoever the people are in your industry who write books you know it's like it's important that you zag or zig whenever they whatever they're doing you've got to go the opposite way um so yeah so that's the first thing um you see because if you do that then it don't matter if you're a bestseller or not you're still gonna you know you're still gonna make waves aren't you like within your industry you know and and people are gonna know that you are different um and you're gonna you're gonna make yourself so attractive as well to like a certain um number of the prospects in your the people who you who you want to attract into your business anyway um yeah but again the same similar principles really to um to you know to be in the amazon one bestseller you know i mean like it's uh you you've got to have a you've got to have a tribe you know it's worth building up an email list yeah. um so you've got a you've got like some juice that you can pour on the fire when it comes to you know, you don't just want to turn up and say, hey, everybody, I've written a book and then expecting people to be, you know, oh, everybody's going to dive in. You want to build up a, build up a tribe, get to put, start putting some content out there um, and, you know, get people, have a, you know, put your personality into it as well, you know, put your story into it so that it's unique to you um, and you tell that story. I mean, I've written six books now and I tell my story at every single book, you know, because I can't. People don't know where the you can't assume that just because you've written six books, everybody knows that you've written five previous. Oh. So the story is the same. So it might change from year to year, depending on where you are in the business world or what you're doing at that particular moment in time. But 
your story does need to be told. And, you know, it's another one of my little things, isn't it? You know, facts tell, stories sell, and it's, it's, it's very true. Um, Jane, I'm going to have to get you on one of these webinars, I think, because I think what you're, you're saying is very, very true. And it's, it, I don't know if you can see the chat box, everyone, but Jane is absolutely right what she's saying. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you're a great cover designer. Yeah. Dom's cover designer is Julia Brown. Julia Brown, yeah, Brown Owl Design. Brilliant. Um, and uh, Jane, oh, yeah, Jane, you're going to come on one of these seminars. It's absolutely true. Exactly what Dom's done. So it's basically Dom, Dom, Dom does seminars, webinars as well. Um, and then you sell the books off the back of that. Then you sell on your other services and products as well. It's not just book selling because it's really hard just yeah, to sell loads yeah. of books. Um, I've always said that regardless, you the know. Book, the book as well, just to back up what Jane's saying, the book gives you the perfect opportunity to speak then, you know, because. Mm -hmm. If you know you might be a, a big wig or you might have a special superpower within your niche or your your industry, um, but if you've got a book that puts the stamp on that superpower, then that's you know people will want to hear what you've got to say, you know, because you're a, you're an author. And to go way back to when I first did How to Be a Dog Superhero, I did a speaking tour very shortly after that, and those two things really it was like the speaking and the authorship were the two things that helped to kind of propel me um way above where i was before from just being you know a local dog walk in sunland to being a the amazon bestseller and stuff you know so wide bestseller <laughs> yeah and uh and joining forces jane said as well with synergistic people to cross sell yeah definitely yeah you know you um we do this all the time. People, you, yeah you can do that locally you can do that you know with people right across your industry um and yeah people are happy to help as well yeah and I think also, obviously, okay, especially at this moment in time, especially what we're doing at the moment as well, is is the more how I've been able to build the businesses up and down and up and up, you know, is is by create, getting people to create really good content because that's what it's all about. I think if you're constantly creating really good content, it does become small guides, books, white papers, whatever it is. But if you're providing good content all the time, you're churning out regularly, you're being consistent in your approach. Um, people will want to buy from you at some point. You know, I think a lot of people think, like, okay, again, the book, I've got no books around me because I'm not in my normal office. But um, if you've got the book, don't think that's just the, the end of it. It's not at all. It's, it is just the start of it. And I, I, always, I normally start all my talks that the book is just the start of it because yeah. the bigger picture is some people don't have the bigger picture in their head at the start. So they, the guide is, oh, the book is their first priority. I completely understand that. And then what you need to do is build on what Dom's done. But that, that wasn't built straight away that was built over time dom as well wasn't it? it was built kind of you know over a few years you kind of had the principles already in, in, in place but again it was you know it took a while yeah absolutely i've got um just to again what jane's saying about putting adverts for your other books in the back of the book i've done exactly what i've done with um the new one uh, dog owners self-isolation survival guide i've got the first chapter of worry-free walks that bit, sorry mate can you see that there oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I've got the first chapter at the end of this book. There's the first chapter free of the next book, kind of in the series, you know. And then if people like it, then you, they, they go on, you know. And again, it it takes you a while, you know. A bit like what um, Louise was saying before about you. you can't, now that I've done like six of them, you you kind of have a little checklist in your head, you know. It's like I need to I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this. And but and and when you're doing your first one everything is new to you you know and, and it's like if, if you could just get it out there without any spelling mistakes in you're doing well but like it's uh it takes a bit of time it's good it's, again it's good to you know get input from the likes of yourself um and then vicky for me was instrumental you know and um yeah and and julia fantastic as well as very very you know she knew what having your own team around you that understands uh the project that's what i always say you you, you know you you, you can't like any business you can't do it all on your own and if you take the book as a business which i think it should be taken as because you're investing money and time into it um then I, you know my tips would be like you say yeah get a good team around you get a good cover designer i completely agree jane we always say that um obviously content's got to be good <laughs> as well um and learn learn how to market really because you're not going to sell any books without marketing uh, create a list um always send out uh, pre-approved copies as I call them you know as it were pre-publication copies so get people to kind of start as Dom done on, on Amazon as well is get people to give honest feedback on it um, and that they would be my kind of top tips as well because then it starts to build credibility authenticity and everything as well that 
that we always go uh, well, um obviously you get um it's a great opportunity for you to get in the in the paper too you know so that's going to help you it's going to help you might help your sales a little bit but it's going to help your business massively you know if you can um i was well, just in, i was just on the radio this morning actually i'm just going to hold on i'm just going to just going to bring it up mate i don't know if people can see that oh oh you're gone now but yeah don was on um don was on well you say it don i'll, I'll try and search it up while uh while, while I'm yeah talking. it was uh so last week i was in um the sunland echo with the new book um the chronicle as well that's uh the newcastle chronicle it's the third biggest um uh, media website in the uk um third most traffic so that's fantastic exposure for me um this morning i was on radio newcastle as well um just giving some tips about um self-isolation and that was it. yeah that was it yeah so it was only two or three minutes but like it's you know it uh easily yeah you can easily do it jane it just it's it does so in in like this particular um author tv thing that we're doing today is about the amazon number one thing and like what we said not not as not as difficult to become a number one within a, a a niche you know um still hard work but not as but it's all of the other doors that it will open to you um really they're, they're, they're the things that are like way more profitable aren't they as well you know way more um beneficial to the business aren't they bill you know oh yeah no 100 percent. like i say i think if you it's like almost no bad side yeah. <laughs> but there, isn't, you know, there isn't you know no no there's there's not and i think again if you listen to what dom says listen to how he's done it because again i always like to take note of how people have done it and and if you like replicate but put your own spin on things as well um it always goes back to the quality of the content dom's written amazing content which always helps um so that, that that's one of the key things but um but no i think what we do now i think we'll wrap it up there we'll have another we'll have to have another more in-depth one i think at some point and we'll, i'll tell you what dom i think we're gonna have to get jane on as well aren't we absolutely yeah absolutely yeah. so uh no thanks thanks everyone thank you very much dom for your time um and as always sir um you'll be back very soon i'm, I'm pretty sure so um, I will put a few links on. There will be a replay um, for the live people watching now. Um, and then obviously people who are watching the replay. There'll be links on there for uh, a download for myself. I think Dom's going to give us a download of something at some uh, uh, as well. Uh, he doesn't know that yet. And, uh, and stuff like that. So thanks ever so much, everybody. Really appreciate your time. And in these days, remember, stay safe. Speak to you later. Bye. Thanks, Bill.